giant corn dogs with faces on them. Really Mountain of chips. Fried cookie dough. Fried Oreo cookies. Candy apples and popcorn. Smoked pork legs. Giant freaking Ferris wheels. That's right guys, we are back at the Florida State Fair. The Florida State Fair is back in Central Florida for another year and I think it keeps getting bigger and better than ever because there are so many places to eat, so many different rides. We've only just scratched the surface of the fair. We've been here for almost 20 minutes now, seen so many places to eat. All the rides are further off down that way. We're just looking for the most random, obscure, nastiest thing to eat. And I'm super excited to try something really new. So we're gonna keep walking around, see what we can eat, see what Coda can ride because Lord knows I'm not getting on any of these rides because I enjoy my life. <laughs> and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. Speaking of bizarre things, might just try some gator. I'm probably munching on this guy's grandmother. Oh dear, what have I done? We decided to get the, the gator mac and cheese bowl. Also, side note, look at the size of these corn dogs. They're huge. I'm sure there's bigger. This is the gator mac and cheese. Wow. Looks really delicious actually. It smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. This is my first time ever having gator. Sorry, that was a bad shot. It's okay. We're just gonna try it. Okay, we good now. This is my first time ever having gator. I've never had had it before, but it's mixed with mac and cheese, and the guy recommended this because it doesn't have that much gator on it, so that way if I don't like the gator, at least I have the mac and cheese that's left. So we're gonna get... I'm trying to stab the gator. That's a pretty decent mouthful of gator, a little bit of mac and cheese on it. Cheers. I don't know how to describe it. It has the it has the texture of of, of like almost overdone chicken. It's the best way to describe it. Like if you've ever had like a chicken nugget that was overdone, be the consistency of it. But it's overall not bad. I'm trying the mac and cheese. Oh, the mac and cheese is really good. This is good. Okay, Coda's turn. You gotta get some of the gator. Get a bigger piece of the gator, you pansy. Babe. There you go. It smells good. I promise it's not nasty. It's not bad. It tastes like overdone chicken. Gator before. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're complaining about eating it and you just have. <laughs> you swear to god you've had it before. Kind of tastes like crawdust. What? Crawfish. Oh, crawfish. Okay. I thought you said craw dust and I'm like, what? Crawdads. Oh, crawdads. Okay. So I wasn't going crazy. And what? You're getting grilled cheese now? I'm thinking about getting a taco grilled cheese. Taco grilled cheese. Because why not? Tacos and coda is like peas and carrots. Oh sweet Jesus. Jesus. This is a giant mozzarella stick on a stick. Good God. And Coda just got the taco grilled cheese, which I don't even know why it's called grilled cheese. It's just it's cheese. Well, there's cheese in it, but still, it's like a taco sandwich. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. <laughs> is that good? Is it satisfying your taco craving? All right, I'm gonna be trying this. Coda is definitely gonna be sharing with me. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm not eating this all by myself. This is the giant mozzarella stick on a stick. Stick on a stick. Oh my god. Shut the inside. What's, whoa, it really is full. <laughs> Straight up cheese. Come on, go back. Okay, let's focus on your face. Hold on. Correct. Look at that cheese. That is insane. The cheese, not demand. I don't have a finger. Let me go to the soda. It won't focus on the cheese. I don't have a hand. Oh, there it goes. Ta da! <laughs> I'm a beautiful cameraman. That is insane. And it's like falling apart from the stick. Oh gosh. What do you need, 
Coda's gotten her ride wristband. So that means she is riding the slide. The very first thing. You know, the worst part about it is having to climb up all those stairs, but I guess the payoff is pretty fun. <laughs> you know, you're the only adult among the kids who isn't escorting another child. You want to know that? I'll tell you guys what, you would never catch my fat ass on one of these things. Never. Koda just went up around two, by the way. You would never catch me on one of these things. So, if you guys remember, last year we did come to the Florida State Fair. In last year's vlog, we stayed with the animals for way too long. Like, that vlog was almost, a, almost three quarters animals. So, we're gonna head over towards the animals again this year, but I promise you, we're not gonna spend as much time. We are gonna show off some of the cute animals. I might just do a quick montage of some of the cute animals that we see. Only the cutest ones, only the goodest of boys get into the vlog. So, let's head inside and see what kind of cute animals we can see. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mooternity Ward. Well, this didn't take long. You're so cute. I think I'll name you Big Mac. Aw, oh, look at the little beef sliders. Coming to a Wendy's near you. Look at the baby bacon! Their little teeny bacon! They're so cute and it looks like the mom fell asleep with their head in the bowl. Sounds like something Coda would do. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, a bunch of cows walking around in here. I don't know if they're practicing or if they're actually like judging cows, but they're just kind of all walking around. They've been mooing a little while ago. This one's a troublemaker. This one hasn't wanted to budge for a while. I'm surprised it's walking this far. The future burgers of America. Well, Coda's getting on this death trap called the Starship. And it just spins you around a lot and you're like planted up against the wall. No way, Jose. Honestly though, how do people enjoy things like this? That is absolutely terrifying. And how do you not puke? Oh God. Well, my girlfriend and I, we had a good run. Oh geez. That is a big old bleh for me. No way. That is spinning entirely too fast. That is unbelievable. Please explain to me how you, how you enjoy that. <laughs> Do you know how fast that thing was spinning from the outside? Yeah, yeah you slide up the wall and go so fast. <laughs> That's insane. No. Yeah, I sent you a video. I'm telling you. Oh, you did? Yeah. You were even videoing while you were in there. Yeah. Wow. Okay, on to the next crazy ride. Yeah. You know, at least with this one, I can actually keep track of her. Look at that cheesy smile. I love you. There's absolutely no way. I'm getting, oh god, that's terrible. How do people get enjoyment out of this stuff? Absolutely not. One thing that I definitely appreciate this year as compared to last year is that we decided to come on a weekday instead of a weekend and it is far less crowded than it was last year. It is actually a very, very gorgeous night. The rides are crazy, people are screaming, people are puking, Coda's riding all the death rides. It's a fun time. There's definitely no shortage of things to do and things to eat here. There's so much stuff. This, this area is massive. Also, one thing that is very concerning is that some of these rides are making very odd noises, like noises that should not be made, and it is making me very nervous. These are all just grab and go rides that I do not trust at all. Caution, do not ride this ride if you are pregnant. 
another joke can be made here. This woman has a ginormous penis. Koda's next torture right of choice. That is the most insane thing, and I've been on one of these before. I've ridden these years ago, but there's there's no way I'd do it again, especially not at my weight. You basically get to be Superman. And this thing is going very fast. Good lord. See now, here's my thing about the fair. Are they not allowed to make other carnival rides that are pop and go that can just not spin? Like just about everything here is spinning of some kind. There's not that many pop and go rides that don't spin. And it just baffles me how everything has to involve spinning. It's not fun. So this is the last time you're going to see Coda because uh, yeah, she's getting on this thing. I love you. The fact that that thing does not have a seat belt it really bothers me. Oh my god. This thing will yeet you so far. That is unbelievable. Okay, they're slowing down. But now, she's gonna get stuck at the very top while these people get off at the bottom. Oh dear lordy Lou. What in the world? The frozen cheesecake with rainbow sprinkles. All right, first bite. It's good. Welcome to the kitty section of the park where we have all the little baby rides. Look, it's knockoff gumbo. It's the great value brand. I got it. Sky ride, it's starting to drizzle a little bit, which is kind of concerning. I don't think it's gonna be like raining, raining. It's just a just a light drizzle. All right, guys, well, that is going to about do it from us here at the Florida State Fair. We had a lot of fun. We definitely did a lot more this time than we did last time. Coda's throwing things at me off from behind the camera. Thank you, babe. Love you. <laughs> um, definitely had a lot more fun this time around than we did last time. Um, we definitely got a lot more things done. Coda definitely rode a lot more rides. We definitely tried a lot more food. There's so much stuff to do here. I definitely recommend coming during the day. Unfortunately, because of Coda and I's schedule, we're only able to come at night. But that's not a big deal because this place is just as beautiful at night as it is during the day so much to see and do so definitely looking forward to coming back next year and not in not too far in the future we have the strawberry festival to go to which is a smaller scale version of this but with just a lot more strawberry shortcake so we're definitely going to be checking that out so with that i am off and i will see you guys in the next video